We're with new head coach Eric Conkle, University of Tulsa men's basketball, and uh, it's been about a week, Coach. Tell me how your first week has been here at University of Tulsa. Well, it's been very busy, of course. We got up here on Tuesday and had a wonderful reception. Can't say thank you enough to all the different people that came and, and celebrated um, me and my family coming here and, and really the, the excitement ahead and what we're trying to build. But been spending most of our time just getting to our players, been reaching out to recruits, hiring staff, and then trying to get out in the community and meet some people. I know one of the things that you've done is you've hit a few restaurants already, right? And, and that's something you'll probably be doing as, as you go along since your family's probably going to stay, uh, you know, in Louisiana until school is over, right? So, I mean, you'll have a chance to hit a few restaurants. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, again, a great way to meet people and why not eat some really good food while you're doing it. So I've gone into different restaurants uh, and just introduced myself and, and trying to gain fans. And again, we want to be the city's team and it's going to start one by one and let it multiply. Yeah, and I was talking with your son, Ethan, who had that 13th birthday uh, cake and all of that, and that was lots of fun. But he was talking about, you know, I want to finish out school down there and then, and then come up. Does that help you in any way? Uh, obviously, you have a great connection with family and that sort of thing, but you can really get here and grind, right? Yeah, the hardest part is, of course, separation from your family. That's, um, but with FaceTime and phone calls and things like that, we're going to stay as connected as, as much as we can, but without a doubt, this is a, a vital time for, for me and our staff to really dive in and, and catch up in a way and get to know people and get started. And we've got a lot of work to do in a number of different areas. And of course, you're trying to create a basketball family here at the University of Tulsa. What is the culture you want to create? Well, there's a three-part philosophy that we have. We want to have great energy, great attitude. Uh, we want to be totally committed to getting better. And we want to do things in a first class manner. We want to build that foundation with our team, with our community. And it's so important to hit the ground running like we have. Uh, one of the players that uh, you were able to yank back out of the portal, if you will, is, is Sam Griffin. And uh, it's all part of the re-recruiting process, I'm sure, for any coach as you take a new job. Tell us how that went. Well, so. You, the most important people in our program are our players. And anytime there's a change, there becomes uncertainty. And the thing with Sam and everybody else has just been trying to connect with them. Had a meeting with the entire team on Tuesday, on Wednesday, got right into individual meetings and just spent 30 minutes with each guy. And then stay in contact with them. And I had another meeting this morning and just laying out our workout plan for today and the rest of the week and really the next four weeks. but. It's connecting with guys. Um, in Sam's case in particular, being from Miami, uh, I spent four years in Miami, know a lot of the uh, same people, and being able to connect and, and build a plan and get guys excited about that plan. And speaking of Miami, Coach Larinaga's team, unfortunately, uh, didn't have the best second half in the world against Kansas, but what a great run, and I'm sure you were following that and very proud of your, your former head coach. Huh? Oh, he's, he's one of the best, the best ever do it, in my opinion. Worked for him for 11 years and was following the run, had it on the TV in the office, was making calls, but was certainly cheering for him. But of course, uh, Coach Self and his great connection here to TU, uh, happy for him and his team as well. And Coach Larinaga obviously is one of your influencers. What are the others? Well, outside of Coach Larinaga, of course, my, my parents, um, they've been so supportive. I think about when I first came here, here years ago, they. They drove a trailer with, with some of the stuff to, to put, throw into an apartment and help me get started. But playing for Bo Ryan, uh, Buzz Peterson, who I spent two years with, one here and one at Tennessee, my high school coach, Greg Jensen, I spent two years at the high, high school level for one of the best coaches in the state of Minnesota and Ken Novak. You take bits and pieces for everybody you've been around. And not just coaches, but administrators, players, high school coaches that you go recruit in their gyms and watch them. Um, it's a great basketball community, and I've loved being a part of it. You mentioned Coach Jensen. He was your coach at Amherst High School in Wisconsin. So what's it like growing up in a small town in Wisconsin? Well, it's, it's all I really knew. I, I told the guys a story. I, the mailing address where I grew up was 230 people, and it uh, seemed like many of them were my own relatives. It just came from a very big family. But Coach Jensen in particular, I remember going to a summer basketball camp that he put on at the high school when I was – in third grade, and I just remember feeling the excitement of possibly playing for Coach Jensen one day, and that really drove me to practice and 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 try to get better at the game of basketball. And now that he's retired, he's he's 
he's been and watched our games at different locations, and I'm, I'm certainly expecting him to be here at Tulsa sometime to watch his play here. Absolutely, we'll look forward to that. Now, I know one thing you're really looking forward to, and, and we're taping this on Monday. It'll, it'll post a little bit later on, so you have yet to have that first practice, but that's today. What's the excitement level, and what do you expect? Oh, this is Christmas morning for us in coaching. Um, just expecting great effort, number one. And then we're going to expect to lay that foundation and talk about some of the things that we want to emphasize in, in fundamental play, in footwork, and shooting, and passing, and catching, and just really get a sense of what, who our guys are on the court. And um, I told our guys, our, our, our mission has become the best version of us. We want to see measurable progress in a number of different areas, and we're going to do it in the weight room today and out on the court. You've mentioned uh, wanting to be a player's coach, or you are a player's coach. Uh, one phrase I heard you use is dream manager. What does that mean? Well, during the recruiting process, you, you want to be able to know what your guys' dreams and aspirations are. And then once they join our program, I, I'm, I'm very conscious of how I can help each member of our team become the best version of them and achieve those goals. Players want to become graduates and they want to be professional players. I want to help them do that. Our assistant coaches, they want to become head coaches. Uh, a GA wants to become an assistant coach one day. So I take very seriously the responsibility of working with each member in our program and helping them have opportunities to grow and achieve their goals. And I know some people might say, hey, players coach, that means the team will be soft, but you can be a players coach and still have discipline and still be tough on them when they need to, right? Well, I think a players coach means that you're all about helping the players get better. It's not just about being their buddy. It's not just about being their friend. I think the relationship that I've been very, very fortunate to have with my players is one where they know I care about them, they know I want what's best for them, and they know that they're going to get the best from me every single day in helping them become better. Obviously, we talked about the portal a little bit. The portal in combination with NIL makes it kind of a brave new world. You have to navigate that, don't you, as a head coach? It's... Again, change creates uncertainty, like I mentioned earlier, and we've got to be innovative. I think you can kind of dig your feet in the sand and try to res resist all these different things of how things work, but basketball is all about, and sports and life in that matter, is all about adapting, and we've got to be able to adapt, and we've got to be able to adapt to this generation of player, to the rules that we have, and do our very best to then take advantage of it. Coach, over your left shoulder, over my right shoulder, is uh, Steve Harris, one of the all-time greats, the number two all-time scorer at the University of Tulsa. And I know you want to reach out and, and touch the legends and, and especially the alums that played basketball here. A hundred percent. This program is always about the players. Uh, there's been great coaches here, but I believe great coaches are really made up of great players and players playing together and playing for one another. And... We've had a great history here of terrific players. Of course, I've reached out to the guys that I was fortunate to be around back in 2000, 2001. Um, a number of players that came to the, um, to the press conference ceremony on Tuesday, and that's gonna be out ongoing. So any players that are out there, please come by. Uh, get our practice schedule. You're always welcome here in this building and look forward to seeing you. And certainly if you want to have a shout out to the fans, uh, you know, already people can, you know, put, put money down on, on the season ticket for next year. We don't have the schedule yet, but what would you say to the TU fans at this yeah, point? Yeah, I just say we need you. This has got to be a total city effort to get us to where we all want to be. And so season tickets, um, taking a part in everything involved in this university, but we're gonna be out in the community and with recruits and everything, so say hello and have great energy for TU basketball. Absolutely. Coach, thank you so much for taking the time. Great first week, and I know you can't wait to get that lanyard and the whistle and all that and get out on the court. Good luck with that. Thank you, Bruce. Really appreciate it. Eric Conkle, who is the new head coach at the University of Tulsa.